How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf. I just wanted to show you how to do uh, this meteorology data contest on SnowRunner. It's on the Black River map. It's kind of in the corner near the uh, factory. Most of you should know where it is. I left it for a while because obviously it's, you could see it was a timed event and uh, I thought I'll wait until I've upgraded some stuff. So you basically got to go and get to these three checkpoints as quick as possible and I'll show you the route I took and I ended up doing it in five minutes and as you can see there at the minute you got to do it within ten and a half minutes for three thousand eight hundred dollars uh, 220 XP if you take more than 13 minutes or we if sorry if you do it within 30 minutes you get silver I think you get 1800 and uh, 110 XP and then if you go over 13 you get, I can't see it to be honest because it shrinks the screen, but you don't get a lot, you get like a grand and you get about 70 XP. So I ended up going this way round, I definitely think it's the best way, and when you get to this point, uh, I cut through the forest here, because if you go round to the left, I rescued a trailer from there the other day and it's really boggy there, so, and as you'll see in this video, cutting up through this forest, there's like a little channel that looks like an old you can sort of see like a little scar through the trees on the map and it's uh, it's definitely clear enough to fit a scout vehicle through. So the only bits of advice I could give is like all these dots I'm putting down put plenty down if you know what I mean because you're going to be in cockpit view for this. I didn't realise until I was near enough doing it but you, uh, you can't obviously go to the garage, you can't swap trucks and you can't recover but you're going to have to do it in cockpit view so you're going to be inside the cab and it makes it it was pretty fun to me i quite like this one but uh yeah i can't drive to save me life really in cockpit view so it was an interesting one so when i'm getting here i'm just going to double back on myself that's why i was just i already know once i've doubled back i'll just come back down the same road and turn left and again like i said i definitely think this is the best way around because as you see as i come up to this third one there's a road up to it this way, but if I came to this one first, I'd kind of have to do a bit of a lap round and then come up this road, or I'd have to cut through. Like it's just a bit awkward. I definitely think this way uh, gets all three of them in near enough the straightest path you can do. Really, I can see them a bit clearer now. So it's eighteen hundred and fifty if you get silver, and it's eleven 1 hundred if you get bronze, so obviously you're getting over triple the money if you get gold. And like I said, you've got ten and a half minutes, and uh, I did it in five minutes exactly, so less than half the time, so as long as you follow the path I did on this video, you should be uh, just fine. To be honest as well, I actually, I don't know why, but after I set off, I had it in my head that I had to get it within six minutes to get gold, so I was trying to fly as quick as I could. <laughs> Not a good start straight away hit a rock and turn sideways didn't have my headlights on and I started it at night for some reason but it, uh, it worked out alright so like I say if you near enough go straight ahead when you actually start because the only way you just round to this road down here is you either have to loop round to the left or the right there's no direct path really but I just cut made my own path So it can throw you off a bit because you can move your head in the uh, cockpit view. Once you're looking like left or right, it kind of. You'll know what I mean, obviously, when you're actually driving it yourself. It just has like. It can throw you off. And like I said, I, uh, I thought it was six minutes for some reason, so. I was definitely rushing. I was trying to sort of think two minutes per checkpoint really but it wasn't obviously you get more like three and a half minutes or something per checkpoint so this is coming up to where it's like the little cut through in the forest normally you'd have to go left but if you squeeze through this tree and you can sort of see it's not really a proper path but there is kind of a little line gouged out and I didn't do a perfectly smooth run either. This was my first attempt. Um, and yeah, like I say, I got five minutes. And I ended up... I didn't really smash my truck up too bad. But I uh, got stopped by trees once or twice. I had to reverse away from and stuff. So I reckon 
if I give it another go or whatever, I, as long as nothing like that happens where the back end just steps out at the last second, I reckon it could be done in about four minutes, but I suppose there's no, as long as you're getting under ten and a half minutes, then it doesn't really doesn't really matter. So this is the first checkpoint, and I was going to try and uh, turn and go back out a bit of a different way, but the trees are a bit pretty thick. You'll see here, I tried to go through this way and the branches stopped me. Rather than even trying to shave a second off and messing around, I was like, just reverse, go back out the way you came. In the long run, it's uh, you've got to kind of find a blend between, obviously you want to be quick, but if you're too risky, if I roll it or anything, then it's game over because I'm going to have to recover the uh, Calm 39 thing, whatever it's called. And the only advice, really, if you end up doing messing something up badly enough that you know you're not going to get the gold time, it might be worth either, I assume, if you exit cockpit view or you switch vehicle, etc., it'll probably cancel like the run and it'll make you go and start it again so it's probably worth if you're not going to get it within ten and a half minutes it's probably worth starting it again because obviously it's nearly four grand if you get gold whereas it's barely a grand if you uh, get bronze so there's a lot more money in it to uh, get the gold and like I say at this point I still thought I had six minutes and um, yeah, I've just passed it's three and a half minutes now, so I'm 30 seconds past what I thought was the halfway point, and I'm nearly at the second one. So I could kind of tell I was doing alright, but I thought I was still uh, pretty up against it. But obviously by now, on the uh, the second one, you could be here within seven minutes really, and you still got another three and a half minutes to get to the last one. So just coming up to four minutes now, and I'm basically coming back out of the road. I just went up to get the second one. It's pretty. I'm sort of like on the home straight now. Bogs down a little bit there, but only for ten or twenty feet. To be honest, it was quite a good little challenge that they made it in cockpit view. It, obviously, if I had the choice, I probably would have done it in third person, but it probably would have been a bit less memorable and less funny if it didn't make you do it in cockpit view, because the whole time you're just like, fucking hell. Trucks bouncing everywhere, and it's, uh, yeah, trying to wrestle the thing in a straight line is pretty funny. Especially against the clock. As you can see, though, what am I on? 4.52. I get five minutes exactly, so it's just up here. There we go, he nearly smashed into the antenna. So yeah, 3,800, 220 XP, gold medal, or trophy, five minutes exactly. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So there's the map, that's the route I took, that's the one I suggest. And if you follow what I've done, then you should easily get the uh, gold medal and the max prize. So anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.